Your girl has really helped you tremendously as an investor. So I guess it's all work. <laughs> anyway. Anything. And in addition to all of that, I would also add one more thing. Okay, so you know, I said there's the three things that distinguish a value investor. Okay, so you've got uh, a business owner mentality. You have a different time horizon. You demand a huge margin of safety, but it's all come from one thing, which is sort of a, you're a business owner and you're a cautious business owner, and you can't control the outcome of the management, therefore you demand a compensation. It's almost self-defense of a margin of safety. And then because you're a business owner, you tend to be long-term, blah, blah, blah. They're all the same. Now, people would ask me, okay, if you're a business owner, okay, why the hell you double with the stock market? Stock market is not, is mean, is not mean for the business owners. It means for the people who can trade. That was the attraction of the stock market. That's why 95% would never buy into this idea. Because if everybody, supposedly everybody, this would never happen because of human nature, but supposedly 100% of the people all are you know, value investors, would there be a stock market? No, hell no. Who would buy IPO? We thought IPO, well, where does the stock market come from? Where does the secondary market come from? And if everybody demand a huge margin, why anybody would sell to you? So that's why I started the lecture by basically saying that you are basically you you are, you are not you do not belong to the stock market. And therefore, you have to always always understand that perspective, and therefore to position yourself properly, and don't get carried away. But if you really really truly a business owner, then you will be attracted naturally, sooner or later, into owning businesses. And that's why Buffett really left it. Munger left it. Each of them runs a partnership of 13 years and they buy businesses, run a real company. Or if you're really kind of you know, into that money, eventually you become sort of private equity. But that's more like a real business, in a sense. But there was evolution. But as long as humans, I mean, a value investor with that kind of perspective would always find something to do, something profitable to do in the market that's not mean, that's not designed for them. One is that the people designed for are fundamentally flawed people. That basically they're attracted because they want to trade. And if you want to trade, you're bound to make a mistake. You're bound to really get your emotions carried over. There's a fear, greed, or whatever the other emotion in between. You're bound to make a mistake. And so when that happens, there will always, always be room for guys like you. You know, supposedly you are that kind of that five percent. There will always be opportunity for you.